just talk, chill. I know you're solo. Yeah, sure, man. What do you want to talk about? Huh? Oh no, I don't. I don't want to fucking radio if that's what you're thinking. You I'm sure not going about that? Walls of loot and I one by two. Dude, you didn't get anything from us. I got a lot from what? C Jersey yesterday and that vending machine. What vending machine? The one that's gone. Yeah, it was kind of because we were trying to get like give people starts and like no one's gonna get starts. I don't think so. Anymore. I heard I heard you guys are offlining cheaters. So you sure? Just saying, when six of us roll up over there, you could defend yeah. your base. Is that what you're saying? I'm saying, yeah, that's exactly what I'm saying. You could roll up however deep you want, and you would not win. You sure? I'm positive. <laughs> it sounds Fucking stupid. idiot, dude. <laughs> so, Dr. Cha-Ching, we've rated bases <laughs> ten times bigger, and old Dr. Cha-Ching comes in here and says, we can't, we can't online a solo base. Your turrets aren't going to fucking help you any, dude. Are you getting rated? Oh man, welcome back everyone. In today's video, I am playing Solo Rust. The last time I played Solo was three months ago, so uh, it's been a while. With Christmas coming up, Loop Boy has a perfect loop pack promotion for you. They have 4.6 million users worldwide and credits for Rust in premium loop packs. Everyone can download Loop Boy for free. It's available on Android, iOS, App Gallery, and PC. You can collect loot coins to open loot packs by reading a new comic that releases every week. You can open premium loot packs with real money or use diamonds for free. It takes time to collect diamonds, so I bought 10 premium rust loot packs to see what I get. Whoa, $20 on Steam? And because I bought a pack of 10, I got a bonus loot pack that guarantees credits for Rust. If you unlock a golden card, then it's always a full version of the game on Steam or Steam credits. You also have a chance to get a full version Steam game or Steam credits in the Gold Rush bonus pack that you get with buying a pack of 10. However, I know most of you play console, so if you happen to get a Steam game or Steam credits, you can exchange them for diamonds. Check out Loop Boy in the description below. And using the code on the screen, Loop Boy will give you a community loot pack with diamonds, loot coins, and many more. Make sure to check redeem code under settings in the app after you registered. The code is only valid for new users. Thank you Loot Boy for sponsoring the video. So I'm honestly just pumped to play and also too I'm uh, about to announce the giveaway winners. The winner of the Xbox Series X or PS5 is I Dropping Kits. The subscriber me and Jose are playing with is Simple QT, and the Rust Coin winners are on the screen. Thank you all for joining the giveaway. Oh, they didn't fix the scientists? What? I thought they did. I'm definitely dead. 100%. Look at that. It is crazy. Got a crazy trigger finger. Thank you very much. Okay, not bad. Five five, need that. Alright, I got a decent start right now. Um, I'm looking to build, honestly, somewhere in the snow because sewers here, trains here, launches here. You got nothing down here, literally nothing. And then you even got small rig up here, which is something I'm down to do as well. So I'm sure it's gonna be loaded up here with bases, but maybe I could find something somewhere. Yeah, as I figured, active base right here. It's new though, like being newly built. 
Maybe I can go somewhere up here, which is... Ah, uh, no, that's farther away. I don't know if I want to do that. Oh, there's a raid going on. Jeez. Dang, I, I would like to check that out, but I really can't. I'm going to put down a little base in the trees over here, and it'll just be like my launch base. Let's do it. I got SAR MP5. Can you drop inside? There's like no way onto that roof, so I doubt he's gonna come out with a kit. I mean, he might, but there's nakeds out there, and I don't know who's teamed and whatnot. There's a DB guy, I'm probably gonna go back for that. Getting a DB right now would be worth it. Oh no. Yep, they're both on the roof. See what I can do with the nail gun. He doesn't see me. Oh my god, I wish I had the Yoka now. A nail gun is not gonna cut it against a full kit. And he sees me. I'm gonna make an Ioka, try one more time. I'm gonna make an extra bag too so I can actually respawn. He was doing transfer runs, so like, this is where I think I might be able to catch one of them. That's the only reason why I wanna try one more time. Oh, they got furnaces running out here? He's in the furnace right now. No way. What'd he say? I don't even know what he said. My grub attempts failed, but I went to see if they left any loot to get my star going. Yeah, here we go. Stuff I need. One man's trash is another man's treasure. Look at that. The ice pick comps. Oh, yep. Yep, yep, yep. Oh, a rev. Thank you. The broken? Nope, brand new. Another ice pick, level one, didn't even peep I got that. I have TC, so I can pick up these furnaces as well. And these boxes. Yeah, I'll just come back real quick. And I can take that ladder. This is honestly a terrible spot to build in. I'm gonna have to move far away, but it's whatever. Maybe not far away. No 
wrong way. If I had my crossy loaded, he was standing still. That was an easy headshot. I can't believe that. Let me go back there with a hammer. Like I said, I want to pick up those boxes, pick up those furnaces. And then, yeah, I can actually get some frags, get a sheet metal door. Oh, and he's back. Caught me off guard again. He took my kit yet again, but I don't care. Let me just get these boxes, get these furnaces, cook up some metal so I don't get raided, because he's probably going to come back and raid me. Here again. Why? 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 He's just looting like random bodies. It's lucky I don't have a gun yet. Look at him just looting around. And then where is he going? Right up into this base? Yep. That makes a lot of sense. Just taking all my loot, bro. I just want to put some boxes down. Oh, I have a bow. I'll try to kill him with a bow, honestly. Oh, he's already back out here. Killed him. He had no ammo. What is he doing? He just gave me no ammo with this gun. He should come out again. He's taking a good look around his base right now. <laughs> Hazzy on the whole time. Wondering why he didn't die. Okay, I need to quickly make the furnace. Which I'm in two of them. This guy is like not really good at the game, so I'm thinking I'll be fine as long as I get some sheet metal doors down. He'll probably want to raid me, so I should move. Yeah, honestly, I should just move right now. I don't know where I'm going, but I'm on the move again. I think I might just mess around and live on the coast. I mean, I'm sure I'm gonna get raided, but I'll give it a go. I think I could put something down right here. This isn't bad. Oh, come on now.
Okay, 570 scrap. It's enough for a level two and a research table and pistol bullet, just not enough for stem. He just gave me like kind of a solid kit too. I heard Tommy shots outside, so I came out with a revolver. Oh yeah. That's what I'm talking about. Tommy's pretty banged up too, so I might as well research it right away. Building down there would suck because then I'm gonna have to scale the mountain every time I wanna go somewhere. Wait, hold on. If, if I can get up this area easily, this might be good. Oh, I could run right up this thing? Okay, hold on. I think this is good. Sometimes your instincts will tell you what feels right, and moving again in this spot just felt right. I finally found home. No way! No way! <clears throat> I wasn't recording, but I literally just laid a full clip into this guy. But he's not real. Like, I don't want to waste more ammo, but trust me, like, he's not... He's just, like, lagging, I guess. I don't... I don't know. It was, like, a decoy or some shit. Ooh! Take that. Oh. Got a hollow on the custom? And more loot? Oh my god, let's go. Dang. If I got that kill before, I would've got way more stuff, but it's whatever. Eels. Wow. 
long neck. <laughs> I'm trying to remember what the other guy's name was. It was long neck and uh, it was like the dude with the like huge neck. It wasn't wide neck, was it? I don't think it was wide neck. It was something like that though. I wonder where that guy is. Let's bounce. Been a long way home. At least it's nighttime. This might be one of the last times we could use this without electricity. Gotta use it while we can. Even though I'm really excited for electricity to come out. It looks really good on Test Branch so far. I just can't wait to try it. It's gonna literally change the game, I think. And then all we need after that is custom servers, and I think Rust console will be like, honestly, really good. Like, if we can get custom servers, electricity, and the game, like, doesn't have random bugs or glitches, then I think it will be, like, one of the top games on console, to be honest. Alright, so I believe I can make a level 2 workbench. Yep, I got 800 scrap now. Cargo is out. Yeah, there it is. I'm honestly not too far away from it, but I... That there's big teams on it, so I don't even know if I want to try. Oh, here I am too. Not far from me either. They're probably gonna take Heli. And I just heard a raid over here. Jeez, went from like nothing to like super pop out of nowhere. I heard four rockets. They might have just went through the top of something. I think it would have sounded closer if if they were in here. Oh no, I think he got a launcher on his back in there. Okay, okay, okay. I'm gonna just jump right in. Yeah, they're in here. I'll come back for whatever's in there. So he shot four rockets, he got some farm, which I'm sure he was already farming with, I think. I'm gonna have to check it out. It might be decaying, I don't know. Okay, just got a launcher, Tommy. There was no way to get the level 3 workbench unless the outers decayed, so all I could do was come back another time. Next I went out to Rome and ran into my newly found neighbors. There's a full kid dead right here, what the fuck? Oh, the M2 on the roof. This was my first encounter with them, and it was also my last because I stayed far away from them since they had full kits already.
Alright, I'm out of here. I heard a raid going down, like, northwest somewhere. Let's go. And that Tommy guy dying in the outpost is clutch. Interesting inventory, but uh, I'll take it. My buddy's still here. How you doing, buddy? Take that. Oh, I'll take that. Thank you very much. What? Come on. After dying at cargo, Bradley was taken, so I went with the DB. Dang it, the guy with the Bradley crate got away, but at least I just picked up two Tommies and a custom. Needed those hazies, it's very nice. I saw a vending machine selling a level 3 workbench for 900 gunpowder, and Tommies for 400 sulfur each. So I farmed all the sulfur on my way over there, brought 900 GP with me, and cashed it in for more than I expected. It didn't matter that I spent all the sulfur though, because I hired a secret weapon. Alright guys, um... Now that things are kind of going decent, I officially called in my secret weapon. Basically, I know I might have mentioned that I was going to farm for the base, but I got my own personal farm buy instead. <laughs> the funniest part is that his name is Farm Chad. But yeah, I mean, I gave him some stuff. I gave him a little starter and it wasn't for free either. This guy uh, runs like a farming service and basically I had to pay him 50 bucks to get me a box of sulfur, two boxes of metal, and three boxes of stone. And look, I think he's already gonna start farming. He's getting right to it. Yeah, there he goes. <laughs> yeah, take my pumpkins, take whatever you need, man. He said he doesn't like talking to the party, so 
I might not ever even hear his voice. We'll see. Not too long after hiring the farm bot, my neighbors were getting offline by two nakeds. I saw one die to another team that sniped him running by to take Bradley, so I jumped in to steal his loot. So I think what just happened was, was that naked that was up here with the launcher was trying to offline this base. This guy was AFK, with only a hazzy. Maybe I shouldn't have killed him, but I did. Now I need to drain this turret. I have an HV, but I kind of want to go research it. I have a feeling they're going to come back with more boom. It's out. Well, I can't raid through anything, so it's I either wait here for them to come back with more boom, or I just leave. Oh, let's go. Not long after I left, the team that took Bradley started raiding that same base. Oh, I think somebody got on. Dang it. Maybe I should have went up. Oh, they broke the ladder, you can't even get back up. Dang it. I could throw four satchels on the sheet metal door. All the niggas will be able to flood in. I was gonna throw the satchels on the door, bro.
also two more. I waited about 10 minutes and went back with the Tommy. There's somebody still here. Oh, I gotta come back. Oh, green cards, I need them so bad. Hazzies. Yeah, I could use all this stuff. It's not even all of it either. The amount of loot in here is actually insane. Okay, I will come back once again because this base is absolutely loaded. I was able to grab everything useful and depot it safely in my base. Then I got a message giving me a hint that I should probably start upgrading my base. Alright, I think it's time to start building the base because... Um... I actually got a message from one of those guys that I killed. And he said, you're raided. So... I think I definitely gotta get the base up tonight. So I don't get raided. And uh, let's check his progress though. He said he needed another Jackie and Ice Pick. Let's see though. Okay, almost a box of metal. Almost a box of sulfur. And oh, what am I looking at here? Hold on. Two boxes of stone. Okay, he's almost done. He just needs a row and a half of sulfur. Oh, he needs a whole nother box of metal though. <laughs> Right, he's almost done with the sulfur and the stone. I began to build, and it was supposed to be a china wall base meant for a trio. The only issue was that halfway through the build, the guy who designed it made it only work on PC. So I ended up having to improvise everything besides the core design. And while I was trying to figure it all out, I got interrupted. Of course he comes over, bro. He hasn't been over here once until I start building. Now he's gonna get TC and... Oh my god, no. Oh, let's go, he was farming. Yeah, that's not good though. <laughs> Don't tell me he locked it. Yeah, he did lock it. Of course he did. Alright. Oh wait. 
You didn't clear off. Alright. I gotta build fast. Okay, this isn't good. This CBK Chunga guy, or whatever his name is, Kunga. That was one of the dudes that raided the base, uh, or raided my neighbors. Yeah, CBK. And I'm pretty sure they live down here. Because they kept running in that direction, there's like nowhere else they would live, because that's like the only decent sized base. I mean, he's just like giving it to me pretty much. Now I'm gonna get raided because he's just giving me loot. I wasn't recording, but I was building the base and uh, he came over, I guess they just took Bradley again. He came over and killed me while I was building. So I run back out there, grab my gun and kill him. And now he's probably pissed. I don't blame him either. After another scuffle, I was finally able to finish the base. It probably hasn't been too long in the video for you guys, but it's been like three or four hours for me because it took a pretty long time building this thing. It kind of looks small to be honest, but it's honestly really big. It's got like this like outer shell with um, little peaks like China wall peaks, I guess you could say, but it's really just one big shell. And then it also has like these little rooms that I can put bedrooms in and like kits and stuff. Let's go, the compound is looking nice. Okay. This thing is looking a little fierce now. All right, it's about 2.45 a.m. right now. Server pops pretty dead, 26. Nobody I really know that's on though, so that's good. I think I'll be okay to get off. I'm just gonna let these big furnaces run overnight. If anybody grubs them, good for them. To be honest, I don't even care. And I got about 10 turrets up, so I think I'm pretty set. There's not many doors to TC, which is kind of scary, but I ran out of gears and I don't want to craft double doors because I'm running low on metal for upkeep for the night. And I want to get off. I just, I'm just really hoping I don't get offline. But I got a good amount of garage doors still, just not down there. The loot's not really down there anyway. And then up here, Close this door and I got T3 back here with a little bit of stuff. And then I got a locker with some kits. So if I am on when I'm getting raided, I could definitely defend or have a good chance of defending. The last thing I need to do is make 5-5 five five for that locker kit and then I'm getting off. Rated? Let's see. Oh, here it turrets. I got upkeep. Oh boys, I think we're good. Cargo's passing the base right now. I kind of want to go for it. We got people on board already. Sounds like they're shooting the scientists. 
gives me plenty of time to hop on. Left his gun standing up. Okay, found both the crates. Now I just need to clear out the rest of the scientists. I also need to loot that body. Third crate up here, never seen this before. Alright, all the signs are cleared out. Now we wait. Okay, two of the crates popped. I guess I'll go down for them. Put some stuff in the rib. Ooh, oh my god. Nice. Some boat right there. I have to be careful. <laughs> that guy's dead for sure. Oh, one guy got up. <laughs> You gotta be dead. He's dead. Same kids. Oh my god, how many are there? They all have low grade. What is going on? Alright, I gotta go for the crate and be out. My audio cut out on the boat, but I made it home with all the loot. Wow, let's go, baby. Huge cargo take. Great way to start the day, honestly. Next, I decided to roam around for some PvP by going through launch and even my old build area, but nobody was around. So I figured it would be a good idea to take Bradley to attract some action. All right, let's do this thing. C4 isn't bad. Everything else wasn't good at all. I was really hoping for an M2. 
Hey, five laptops, let's go. Four more turrets. <laughs> Nobody contested, but it was still early in the morning. Then the Christmas event update came out and presents were starting to spawn. Oh, I found one. Do I have to break it with something? Shoot. Two medium presents and a, three small presents. Alright, I'm not really seeing any more, but at least I got two. And then inside those big boxes, they give you smaller presents, which is cool. The best loot is in the large presents. And you can only get large presents by upgrading 10 small presents to a medium present. And 5 medium presents upgrades to a large present. I wanted to fill an entire box with small presents. Upgrade them all and see what I got. It took a while, but I end up doing it later in the video. For now, I moved on to countering Smoil because I saw heavies get called in. And I felt like being sneaky. So I went with a full scuba kit and a pump shotgun. My God. Oh, there's another guy here, but I guess I leave. That is a bag and a half. AK, MP5. Oh my God. No way I just did that. And I'm out of there, baby. <laughs> Let's go. Oh, baby. AK, two MP5s. Not bad. Barely just got taken, so I am all over that. They took it at Ticket. Chinook coming over here? It's over Stone Quarry. There's Chinook over Stone Quarry. It might come over here. All right, one guy's on Mammoth. Want to have a recycler too? No, I swung him too hard. Damn, they looted and left. If I killed one more, they probably couldn't loot everything. I just had to kill the Hazzy Loki, and then I could have came back and killed the full kit. I didn't expect there to be four of them, though. I expect like three at most. There's always more than I expect. Next, I felt like doing a small exploit raid, so I ran around for a bit and found a 2x2 two two that looked promising. That was close. <laughs> AK? Oh my god, what? A 
lot of bags. Comps are nice. TC is alright. Nice cloth. So bad he put <laughs> You would have had all my shit and I would have been tight. But in the end he's tight. Let's go. Finally I get some luck, bro. Gee. Okay, not a bad one. Not a bad raid. It went pretty well, so I decided to do another raid. Okay, I mean, decent loot, like good comps, a little bit of farm, actually a lot of farm. Oh, I didn't even see that scrap. That's yeah, pretty good actually, all this stuff is good. I got home with the best loot and then Bradley got taken again. This time, I wanted to counter with a full kit. I just heard someone, yeah, someone's taking it right now. It's even better. All right, they're taking it off Recycler. Yeah, I don't know how much I can counter with them 2 here. I thought I was honestly gonna be a way smaller team. Honestly, I think my best bet is going on top of Cobalt, I think it's called. I don't know what the really tall one's called, but it might be my best chance. Oh shit, there's a guy up there. Oh yeah, there's two Hazzies in Ticket Booth, like... Alright, they're just like shooting around, baiting people. I think I'm gonna leave while I can. They, they definitely are just like really deep. Leaving my road sign Tommy kit. And that's a, and the same kid I killed as the same kid that messaged me saying, you're gonna get raided. Some bullshit like that, so... He never raided me and uh... I just shit on him. Since they had M2, there was a small chance I could make a play, but I at least got away with a road sign kit. And I also killed the same guy that said he was going to raid me. Alright, I think cracking this guy down is my only chance at getting raided or online raided. So this guy is part of that CBK clan that lives down here in G15. I'm pretty sure they live here. I'm going to go confirm it in a second, but basically yesterday when uh, they were raiding my neighbors, and then I was getting the scraps and I killed him. He messaged me saying, you're raided. And then uh, he never raided me because I expanded my base a bunch yesterday. 
And I guess he didn't want to waste the boom on me. But 15 minutes ago when I killed him in launch, I sent him a little emoji back and uh... <laughs> I wouldn't say he's tight, but I'm just like trying to get under his skin. Okay, he was just on player list a, a second ago and now he's off. I thought he lived here, but now I'm seeing this new base right next to him. He definitely is like... I. I kind of getting the vibe that he's like the type of person to be allies with the big group. Let's see if my theory is right by dying to one of the door codes and find out who the base owner is. Clips OFN. Okay. So he's also one of them. I killed him once when he was farming. And I killed him another time when he was coming back from Bradley. After scouting their base, it turns out that this Clips guy I kept seeing is allied or all one team with Lips and the CBK clan. I don't have all the names, but I can confirm at least six of them. I didn't have a goal at the start of Wipe, but now I kind of felt like it would be fun to make this team mad enough to raid me. I already had a head start because I think they partially wanted to raid me already. I just needed to push them a little harder, but it was getting late, so I put down my Christmas tree. And they added the Christmas tree too, so you know, I gotta set it up somewhere. I don't really have a great spot for it. Let me think for a second. Right there. And got off for the night. I got on in the morning and survived another night. So the first thing I did was tech tree for AK, metal chest plate, and rocket. Then I went to take Bradley. I feel like the time goes so slow when you're uh, by yourself. The fire takes forever. I'm just like scanning everywhere for like 10 minutes, just waiting for it to create some pop. And there could be like a little, there could be a DB guy, a recycler, and I gotta loot those crates right there. I could use a L9, the C4, Tech Trash. Unfortunately, nobody contested once again, so I went right back to planning my next play on the CBK clan. The best thing I could think of was raiding their vending machine base. It would only be 4C4, which I already have saved up, and it could potentially give me a bunch of Tommies, Hazzies, and Sulfur. The only risk was them hearing me, since I haven't seen them ever get off, but I decided to take the risk anyway. Okay, pretty risky, but uh, here goes nothing. 8 rockets would be perfect for this. And I didn't even craft a C4, so I guess it's okay. Gotta go fast, gotta go fast. Oh, nice, all open. Okay, I mean, I had to seal in wood, but whatever. It's pretty scuffed. I didn't think it was going to be all open like this. Oh, and they even got some extra stuff in here. 500 GP, nice. And pretty much a row of sulfur. Okay, I'm gonna get out while I can and come back. I mean, 500 GP plus almost a row of sulfur, and that's like pretty much my uh, C4 back. And then I got all the Tommies and Hazzies. 
and I'm definitely gonna let them know that it was me. Raiding their vending machine base worked out better than expected. I got all the loot out and didn't see them a single time. Then I had to take a long break for most of the day. I was able to keep an eye on my base, but I couldn't play much. And when I got back, I went right over to their base to check out the vending machine. <laughs> oh my god, I love messing with these guys. That was so unexpected too, I wasn't even uh, recording, I had the Xbox record it just now. But I went back to see if they noticed I raided their vending machine, and there was still a DB in there with like one bullet, so I just took it out, and I went towards their gate because I saw it was open, and he literally ju was just coming out as soon as I went to go door camp him to see if like anyone was in there. And yeah, like literally perfect timing, one bullet in a DB from his own vending machine base. <laughs> Hopefully that pisses him off. I want him to raid me so bad. I honestly just gotta keep messing with them like all throughout the day. One of the guys I've been messing with uh, invited me to a party, so I'm gonna see what he has to say. Dr. Ching Chang. Hey, Dr. Ching Chang, come to Bradley. Is this the guy that fucking no, no, door camped me? Is that? <laughs> no. It's fucking Dr. something. I'm bleeding now, I'm not full dead. I'm dead. Fuck, really? There's two, yeah. Like that can't happen. What the fuck? That's a free Bradley for them, dude. Don't do fucking anything. I dropped one. Fuck you, Dr. Ching Chang. Oh, he kicked me. <laughs> I went back with ladders to jump in the smaller compound. No way he's got the door open. There's actually no way he has the door open right now. Oh, I can go up into his inner peaks with ladders. The door is there. It should be an airlock right here. 4C4 through that wall. And then you get to the airlock, and then you get to the core. It's actually a really cheap raid right now. I do want to bring some ladders back though and see if I can get up there. Maybe I can get in through up there. No, he's on. I couldn't do anything when I got back with more ladders because they already filled the auto turrets with ammo. Then I noticed all of them leaving the base to take Bradley, but two Hazzies were left behind. So I geared up to cut them off. Yep, here they come. Probably come flying out to kill me. Can depot my loot real quick, and then I'll. I want to go out with one of their hazies actually, because they're gonna. I don't know how many went to Bradley. There's at least two full kits I know for sure. I don't know how many other people are already there, and I've never seen these names before either. So it's like they're multiplying. It's like they. They're way more than eight deep, because I've seen so many different names. I just heard an L9 had launched. They didn't push. Guy over here. Sounds like he's on the ground. Or is he on triple silo? Yep.
and kill him. It was a good try, but they're either really good or cheating because I was getting beamed. Regardless, I took another small break and then once again went back over to their base to see what they were up to. Dang it. Yeah, they did have to raid it. It turns out that they were raiding their ally. And if you think about it, this alliance didn't last long. My first interaction with Clips was when I first joined the server. They also lived all the way across the map. So it only took them a day to get raided in the snow and then immediately they built back up right over here. It would have been the perfect raid since the base was still somewhat new and it would have gave them more of a reason to raid me, but now that plan was ruined. I was super curious to know why the alliance broke. So I invited Clips to my party. Alright, I don't know if this is like what actually happened, but Clips used to be on the team and I'm pretty sure he was one of the main owners of that base, but now it looks like maybe he insided and they like literally betrayed him. I might have like talked to him and see if he can like tell me anything about him. Yo, what's up? Ow. Yeah, hey. they insided us. Oh, you were allied with him? <laughs> yeah, we were gonna move into our base, or we were gonna move into their base, and then we got all our all our loot in their compound, and then they killed us and changed codes. Wow, how many were you? Cause I know you just invited new people in your base today. Uh no, uh oh yeah, uh we were like six deep somewhere on there. And how deep are they? Or are you just including them too? They're only like three deep, four deep, uh -huh. yeah, four deep. Damn. So now are you gonna start over? Oh yeah, we're starting over. We're gonna, we're gonna fucking, we're build, we're raiding them. I feel like they don't understand. It's a cheap base. It's just a lot of turrets. They have bad times. We don't. I don't understand that or something. I don't know. He just killed me. I, I only had a custom outside the base. Yeah, dude, I had hella beef with you. We were like gonna raid you. Really? No, like we. I was like, dude, let's raid this guy, cause you kept grubbing kits off me. But like, I was I'm, like, yeah, I don't. Want, he's a solo. It's PVP. We'll just leave him. I thought like you guys were like on the completely same team like the whole time. Well, I guess you no, were. We had but separate bases. Just allied. Pretty good too. Do they cheat? Said we were loot hungry. Yeah, they do cheat. Yeah, bro. I got tripled like from we pretty deep. Hungry. Yeah, that's. There, if anything, they're loot. I, I I guess that's just what happens in Ross. I don't know. Yeah, no, the inciting happens, like, way too much, honestly. After talking with him, it seemed like he was telling the truth. And after hearing that the CBK clan are offlining cheaters, I wanted to win a raid against them even more. So after my conversation with Clips, I invited one of the CBK players to give their side of the situation. Hey, chill, I know you're solo. Yeah, sure, man. What do you want to talk about? Huh? Oh, no, I don't. I don't want to fucking raid you if that's what you're thinking. You I'm sure not about that? I'm not going one by two. Dude, you didn't get anything from us. I got a lot from what? Seizures yesterday and that vending machine. What vending machine? The one that's gone. Yeah, it was kind of pissy because we were trying to get like give people starts and like no one's gonna get starts. I don't think so. Anymore. I heard I heard you guys are offlining cheaters. So offlining like... cheaters. Who told you that? And I don't see where you got. I'm an offlining cheater. I'm not cheating. Maybe we've offlined a few bases. That's cool. You act like my you base is easy to raid. You act like my base is easy to raid. There's no way you can online it's me, so you would have to online. You would have to offline it. Yeah, so you're an offline. There you go. <laughs> yeah, you're so, so you're an offliner. There you go. What you're do you mean? giving me a reason to offline it. You said we can't online your base, right? Yeah. And why would we even try? 
Well, if you're good enough, you can, but I'm saying you're not good yeah, enough. Go I, dude, you just called me cheating, and now I'm not good enough. If I was cheating, I'd slam you. <laughs> no, even if you're cheating, you, you wouldn't slam me, though. That's the funny thing. You sure? Just saying, when six of us roll up over there, you could defend yeah. your base. Is that what you're saying? Yeah, that's exactly what I'm saying. You could roll up however deep you want, and you would not win. You sure? I'm positive. <laughs> You sound Fucking super idiot, smug. dude. <laughs> For Dr. Cha-Ching, we've raided bases <laughs> ten times bigger, and old Dr. Ching comes in here and says, we can't, we can't online a solo base. Your turrets aren't going to fucking help you any, dude. But what if, if I you... told you we both cheat? What, what, what would you do? You both cheat? I wouldn't be surprised, because everyone cheats on this game. Yeah, we both cheat. I'm not surprised. <laughs> See, that's why you're not winning. You're, you're not winning against cheaters, I promise. Cheater, like, I, I hate but in a raid defense, I would. Win every game. But in a raid defense, I'd win. I stand by that. Even if you cheat, it doesn't matter. It has to be... Yeah, cheaters will win every game. I couldn't believe he openly admitted to cheating, and now I think I finally got under their skin. All I had to do is be prepared for when they show up. Except I had one more thing to accomplish before they did. I've been grabbing every present that spawned outside my base throughout the entire day. And before it was too late, I wanted to finally unwrap them. It's been a grind, but I have a special surprise for you guys. Get the medium presents, right? No big deal, but look. Boom. A box of small presents for like... Close to two days now. And, um... As a result of, like, farming all the presents and other people's presents, this is, like, the ratio. I was only able to get a row of medium presents compared to a box of small presents. But I'm going to transform all of these presents into large presents and see what I get. And I have no clue what the items are, so we're going to have to find out right now. I do want to open, like, maybe ten small presents just so we, I could see what you get from each, like, rarity. This might not even give me that much. Alright, I'll leave a pack of 10. We'll, we'll open these. See what I get. <laughs> okay, so... Yeah, the loot isn't that great. Oh, this thing is kind of like a rock. That's cool. That's actually a nice little start if you find a present on the ground and you could pull on the yoka. Time to move on to the medium presents though. Upgrade these to large presents. I don't even know what a large present looks like. Ooh. I'm gonna see what I unwrap from uh, these four medium presents though. Stem. Some stone. Tree lights. The stocking. I've seen the stockings before. I think uh, stuff spawns in them every time. Put that right up there above my bed. Hey, now it's got lights. That's sick. Okay, it's time now. Here we go. Let me put all this other crap away. I want to know exactly what I get from these large presents. Okay, large present number one. Here we go. A super stocking. This might be good. Throw that up right there. Next large present. Ooh, that's kind of good. Third one. Wow. Okay, a real gun. A rev, not that good. More crude. Sheesh. Another rev, not good. 60 high qual, that's like an AK right there, pretty much. Flame turret, kind of bad. Another flame turret. Another super stocking. Gotta see what, what comes out of these things. More high qual, that's another AK. I mean, I'll take the high qual. High qual is definitely worth. Last present though, what is it gonna be? Another flame turret. Alright. The time I put into getting all those presents and these are the items, that's actually kind of sad. I thought I was gonna get like an M2 or an AK or something, to be honest. Maybe that would be too easy. Shit. Am I getting raided? Oh shit.
Jesus. There's a raid base. What's up there? Damn it. Oh my god, it's them. Wait for him to rocket again. I gotta reposition now. Maybe I go on the ground. He's gotta be dead, right? Just doubled him. They got turrets out there. No. Oh my god, he barely saw me. It's so dark, I can't see shit. have killed one. Dang it. God, he's inside and you see him.
die, bro. Oh my god. I think they just ran out of, uh, boom. Or there were just too many turrets. I mean, those guys were smoking me the entire time. Literally smoking me. Without turrets, I don't win that. They actually came to raid me. Except, I knew it was coming all along. Let's quickly go back to the party conversation I had with CBK. Huh? I've never you don't, heard of you. <laughs> you don't watch Rust you're console though? Even, you're not even uh, Rustcom. You're not even Rustcom. What's your YouTube? What's it? Are you ready? Let me spell it out. Yeah. O-B-I-E. You're not O-B. <laughs> <laughs> I don't sound like O-B. Oh my god. It's Ovi! He's out of too! What? It's Ovi, it's Ovi, it's Ovi! Oh, we have a fan, bro! You know, you know, you know! Yeah, 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 yeah. What the fuck are you doing on night? Sorry, who I'm are you? I don't even know who no, you are. No, it's Ovi, dude. It's Ovi YT. He's got like 85k. Hey, Gavin, Gavin. Dr. Ching Chang is Ovi. Dead fucking ass, dude. Dr. Ching Chang is Ovi. Swear to God, get on. I'll wait you at Xbox. I ended up telling him it was me, and he switched up pretty fast. The only reason I did was because the allies that they raided were going to offline them, so I couldn't wait around any longer to get raided. Even if I made them more mad, they probably would have never came to raid me just because they had bigger problems to deal with. But because it was me, they were happy to raid for the video. I told them not to go easy though, even though they both cheat. One even asked for a follow on TikTok, and I said I would if he won the raid, so he never got that follow. Although, I did tell him if he turned legit, then I would give him a follow in the future, and he agreed. So hopefully he follows through with going legit, and we meet again during another wipe. Check out Loopboy in the description below, and using the code on the screen, Loopboy will give you a community loot pack with diamonds, loot coins, and many more. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. My next one will be with the subscriber giveaway winner. Make sure to subscribe so you don't miss it. Peace.